Welcome back. As far as the snow falling from the sky, things are improving there for the Magic City. As far as the wind and blowing snow, that's still an issue. At the KMOT studio, picked up 1.9 inches of snow altogether as those temperatures were quite persistent as far as staying above freezing since last night. That's what limited many of our accumulation totals, but the big picture has been the wind blowing snow and all of the vehicle accidents due to the slippery road conditions. Notice Lake Metagoshi still some blowing snow and poor visibility and the snow piling up there covering the roads in Bismarck as well where the capital city is at 32 degrees. I'm mentioning Bismarck because DOT just issued a no travel advisory now from Bismarck to Minot. So please stay off the roads, especially if you need to go long distance. This is not the night for that. Not only for Bismarck Mandan, no travel advice from um, Highway 3 from Bismarck to Minot, but also notice from Bismarck, well, rather Mandan to Dickinson, no travel advice. Same goes for majority of South Central, Southwestern North Dakota, but across much of the region, travel alerts still remain in play. Now, I know we all want to get on the roads. It's Friday, it's the weekend, and we have plans, but here's what you need to know because the roads and travel conditions still looking bad for this evening for tonight as well as tomorrow morning. Yes, the snow falling from the sky is mostly done for Minot. However, the wind and the fresh blowing snow still reducing visibility and the roads are slippery. But luckily by Saturday afternoon, things should be improving across North Dakota. And we're done with the snow accumulation uh, for the Minot area. Notice um, Botno and the uh, Turtle Mountain region less than an inch. Things are looking much better for you as well. Here's your radar for the time being. You will notice drier conditions, drier air moving in from the north. So things looking better from the snowfall from the sky. Still got a lot from Devil's Lake down to Washburn as well as Bismarck. You'll notice a heavier band east and south of the capital city over New Salem as well. All of that will continue pushing south closer to home. Look at that. Finally, we've got the all clear, but no, some light snow still in Belcourt. Um, well, rather Belcourt, Bantry, some moderate snow for Belcourt, Rugby down to Harvey and notice Carlsruhe and Butte, a moderate to heavy band over you and far southeastern Ward County. But for Minot, things are looking better for us as far as the falling snow but the roads not that good and visibility still less than a mile for many of us across the Turtle Mountains down through far southern Ward County, Turtle Lake, Harvey, Rugby, Carlsruhe, you name it, it's bad. But west of town, that's where it's improving greatly for Stanley at 28 degrees with improved visibility for Mohall, Kinmare, as well as Bowbells. The wind all around still sustained between 30 to 45 miles per hour, 40 to 50 mile per hour gusts still from the Turtle Mountains, Rolla into Minot, still a bit breezy or blustery for Stanley and partial, but things will gradually improve as that drier air pushes into the region. So when will you likely be having the safe bet to travel? Well, likely not until tomorrow afternoon. And here's a quick seven day forecast. Still a bit windy tomorrow, colder as well. But hey, we're still talking about next Wednesday and Thursday, guys. We'll be back in the 40s with that melting snow. All right, thank you so much for that, Henry.